We are in the Aerospace Village at DEF CON 30, checking out the Aerospace Badge, which you're the designer of. I am, Cyber Test Pilot. This is great. So what I love about it is the fact that there's not one, not two, but five SAO ports on it. Can yes. you tell me what you did in this badge? Certainly, so uh, this is the third year the Aerospace Village has made a badge. Um, and I, you know, with the pandemic, microcontroller chip shortage, right? And so uh, knowing that the, the theme of DEF CON was gonna be community, like we're doing all these meetings, like what could we do with limited product? And so kind of something we came to the idea on, all coalesced to, was the, the whole shitty add-on platform, right? It doesn't need a microcontroller. The parts to like support it are fairly ubiquitous. And then it was also like very serendipitous because we could take the, um, the idea, the concept of a shitty add-on, and we could export it to other volunteers within the, uh, within the organization, right? Okay. You're so, saying within the aerospace village? Within the aerospace village, okay. the, so the core volunteers. And so what we ended up doing, uh, myself, I was working with pubs and some others, um, we did a lot of iterations back and forth. I had worked with my same uh, artist friend, uh, Dan Ropp from Fly Surreal, and he had done the artwork, and then we like we really liked the layering, so you can get like the, the PCBs are stacked, so you can get kind of like that diffused glow. Yeah, I noticed that one of the things I really like about it is, as you say, like it doesn't look like there's like there's not tons of microchips, there's nothing like that. It's a yeah. very simple board. It is incredibly simple. But what's so cool about this is you focused on the art of the badge. You yes. focused on the multi-layering. You focused on these. I really love the clouds on it because they're like, they stick out. Like mm -hmm. they're, they're, it's not like a simple circle. Normally on badges, you're like circle, square, circle, right. square. Right. Where these, you have these nice cool cutouts and then you have the art like with the constellations, the yes. clouds. Yeah. Yeah, it, it, like a c complete kudos to my friend who did the artwork. Like he did the outline and the shape, um, it, and I loved it. It came together. We went back and forth on the colors. Like the purple against the black was. We had to keep it. It looked better than white, right? Now, it one of the questions I have also with this is, it's a multi-layer board. I'm assuming people have to assemble it themselves, or are they come in together. We assemble them ourselves. So we used a, a volunteer organization. So we had a, a partner back in uh, Maryland, and we had uh, you know their lab space, and we just solder parties. Oh Saturdays. goodness! Yep. How are these things actually attached? Oh, that was clever. Yeah. So you just did little um, extenders through each one yep. and then soldered them all together. Terminal pins. And so, so the the silly add-on standard is you know the two by three at six pin connections, mm -hmm. and so it's you know two two and two. It gives it stability. You know separating them, and then the same connections are are uh, carried through. Oh. through the terminal pins to the next subsequent layer of, of board that, so that we can that, get the SAO. That was incredibly here. clever. Yeah. So yeah, you're, you're, the, your mounting ports are the ones that hold up the board and then you're leveraging those not just to hold up the board but also the SAO ports. The, yes, so that they carry so the signal cool. and they're structural, right? So included in the board, you also have your own add-ons here. Yes, so the lanyard, uh, the five uh, ports, the space shuttle, we have this removed before flight um, and so it comes with a, the ability, it's, it's unsoldered at purchase, at donation. Um, and so you can orient the remove before flight differently. So like ideally someone, what they could do, right, is if they could uh, integrate that into the uh, DEF CON badge. Did that turn on? Oh, there we go. Oh, you know what I've done? I've hacked my warning light. That's the only reason. Oh. I'll, I'll explain that why. But the idea is, we, we kind of had a, a head start that the, the DEF CON badge was going to have a port. And so we were wondering, like, you could orient, you know, in multitude different ways so that you could get a, a silly add-on, you know, not blocking a, ba a baseboard. The micro chip shortage. My badge is different. I've hacked it, but this was intentional. So this microchip is unpopulated uh, for, the, for the normal sale, but it fits an AT Tiny 85. It maintains uh, the silly add-on standard, the uh, clock line, data line, pin one, pin two. And so what I've done is um, I've hacked my warning light. So it's very tiny, but you cut a trace and then you jump a trace. And all that does is it moves the voltage from the LEDs from the voltage line over to GPIO one. Oh, okay. So it's, you know, it's a silly add-on, but in, this is why mine blinks. A normal one wouldn't. So oh, that's it's very hackable, cool. right? Like, so we do things with the badge. There's a few like puzzles on here. So this is the, the airport of uh, the Harry Reid Airport here in Vegas. Um, I recently visited um, the Outer Banks, and so the uh, Wright Brothers, first flyer there, 
homage to the first flight. Um, and then this is kind of silly, but this is a barcode boarding pass, and it's for um, Buzz Aldrin to uh, board Apollo 11. Oh, that's so it's just so fictitious cool. information put in there. This uh, is, but it, it's present for someone to discover. This is so cool. Thanks for making something. I love the fact that these SAOs are really becoming more popular mm -hmm. and really pulling in a lot of the cool art that you get to see on circuit boards. Yeah. Thank you so much for designing it. Thank you for watching. And as always, hack on.